all right my dear so today in this video i'm going to share with you non black okay i'm going to share with you heat exchange between two non black bodies when there is a external elements is inserted that is shield okay so basically what happened <coughs> what happened if you were talking about you know uh, cylinder or concentric cylinder concentric cylinder when we are having two cylinders or two concentric cylinders in that case we are having different formula to find out heat transfer rate that is q and that should be in joule per second or watt we are having different formula okay now in case of shield and concentric cylinder we are having different formulas also but here actually in gate 2003 <coughs> gate 2003 they have asked a question there is room and there is a you know there is a plate plate is hanging inside the room plate is having some area as well as room room is having some area so this is suppose that a1 this suppose that a2 if in this type of numerical problem we face in case of radiation and heat exchange between two non black bodies then what would be the formula to find out numerical problem or to find out required things what we need to find out in that problem what should be the formula for that so for this q is equal to we are having a formula sigma a1 t1 to the power 4 minus t2 to the power 4 1 by epsilon 1 a1 by a2 1 by epsilon 2 minus 1 you can also write like this sigma t1 to the power 4 t2 to the power 4 1 by epsilon 1 a1 1 minus epsilon 2 a2 epsilon 2 both are same if you will simplify this above equation then definitely we are going to get this value so this is a formula for q okay now if if we will solve that numerical problem which has been asked in gate 2003 then definitely you are going to so i mean we are going to get the approach to solve problems if you will get such type of things it's not a case on it's not only case of room as well as a plate you can say if there is there is a uh, you know we can say there is a play there is a cylinder in in uh, in a cylinder there is something we are putting but well, suppose that there is a room and uh, the wall is having uh, in between two walls suppose that this is a wall okay this is the first part of the wall and this is the second part of the wall in between this wall we are putting different material different material okay uh, this type of things we generally do in case of in case we are building something in the desert okay for uh, for decreasing heat transfer rate that's why inside the room who is living will not feel that much hot as compared to the surrounding okay so this is all about that what i wanted to share with you but uh, most important thing is this how to solve numerical problem which has been asked in gate once you will come to know how to solve the problem then my purpose of making this video will be fulfilled okay i hope you wanted to learn numerical problems not theoretical but theory is good but once you will build up approach to solve numerical problem then that becomes quite interesting for everybody those are preparing for competitive examination just like gate sscj okay so this is the uh, this is the question as right now in front of you i hope you can read the question that's why i have written in that way okay so i don't want to read the question you can read this question after pausing the video okay so what happened what actually how you can solve the question okay once you got the question gate well so in that case how you should solve the question that is important right i will share with you the, the exact way so first of all find out what you need to find out in the problem once you will come to know what you need to find out in the problem then your problem solved because you can write down the formula for finding out the thing what you need to find out okay so in this case what we need to find heat loss from two surfaces of the plate okay so once you will come to know one q you can multiply with the, that q with two then definitely you can find out two because they are, they did not share with you anything about the wall in this problem okay so we are uh, we are just considering both the wall having similar values okay so suppose that we are having this and uh, now area of each side hanging okay plate area is 10 centimeter square 
so area of the plate is 10 cm square therefore this will become 10 to the power minus 4 meter square i am converting all units into si unit so 10 to the power minus 3 meter square right after conversion what we got the room the area of the room is 100 meter square okay now let me write down the formula first q is equal to <coughs> what we write we have did that a1 sigma t1 to the power 4 minus t2 to the power 4 1 by epsilon 1 a1 by a2 1 by epsilon 2 minus 1 okay so this is the formula now till now what we got values a1 and a2 we got these two values now we have to find out t1 and t2 and sigma already given t1 okay this one is this one for epsilon 2 is here t2 is here and epsilon 1 is here and t1 is here okay so this is all values we require to find out the value of q heat transfer rate so just what if we need to do we need to put all values right away and in this case once we'll come to know how to solve the question don't be hesitated or don't get distracted from the question just keep your concentration on the top that's why we will not make mistake at this point if we'll make mistake then what's the use of understanding the question and knowing all formulas nothing so remember my dear friend once you will come to know how to solve the question then come be calm and solve the question right away that's why we will get right answer all right so a1 is how much we have given 10 to the power minus 3 sigma 5 into 10 to the power minus 6 uh, sorry for 10 5 into the power 5 okay 5.67 into 10 to the power minus 8 t1 is 800 so 800 to the power 4 t2 is here 300 to the power 4 now 1 by epsilon 1 epsilon 1 is 0. 0.6 okay a1 10 to the power minus 3 a2 100 1 by epsilon 2.3 minus 1 that you can see here 0.3 right so all values we have written right now and all these things just in front of you for your better understanding now what right now we required the most can you imagine my dear can you tell me what we required right now i know you are thinking about calculator that's right we need calculator to solve the problem without calculator at this point it will be diff it will become difficult for us right so let's go for the calculator so here we got the calculator and uh, what we got first we need to solve this lower part so first 1 divide 0 0.3 divide minus 1 this into 10 to the power minus 3 divided by 10 to the power 100 okay that's okay okay <clears throat> we got this now plus 1 divided by 0 0.6 so this is how much we are getting here 1.6669 okay so always take up to four decimal values that's why we will avoid error okay now we have to solve this one so 800 to the power 4 minus 300 to the power 4 so how much this is okay into 10 to the power minus 3 multiple 5.67 into 10 to the power minus 8 okay always try to come come to know how to solve how to use calculator and of course you need to you need to learn how to use calculator online calculator because in gate you are not going to get this one okay because those days go on when you can use this calculator okay and um, i am sharing with you that how to solve how to practice okay i will i will definitely recommend you do one thing practice at your home that's why uh, by using online calculator that's why you will not uh, face problem directly whenever you will sit or write the gate examination right so how much we are getting here 22.76505 okay now divide this value with 1.669 how much we are getting here 13 13.657 okay that's q that means what okay so you need to be you need to be in what so what we got 13.6 but most important fact here you are going to make mistake you will just do one thing what you will just you will just mark the right answer maybe 13.67 or oh, this one don't do this if we will do this then definitely you are making mistake i mean i mean knowing even knowing after the problem you will you will make mistake because total heat loss so there is a room 
and there is a plate so heat loss must be from both the side so you have to multiple the answer with 2 so what we got exactly here 13.657 multiple 2 so 27.31 27.31 so B is the right answer I hope you understand the problem okay so be calm and be happy thanks for watching see you soon in my next video bye bye